goddamn time. Where's everybody at? <laughs> What's up, man? How's your weekend going? Doing anything for Mother's Day? What's up guys? How's your guys' weekend going? days. Oh nice. Like a cruise ship? That's pretty awesome. I haven't been on one of those in like 15 years. <laughs> it's a lot of fun though. I wanted to take my wife out, but we got the baby shower today, so I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow, but that's gonna be a pain in the ass, considering everybody's gonna be wanting to go out. Oh damn, a long one. On four cruises, damn. <laughs> What's up, David? How you doing? You guys check out uh, Justin Dow's uh, live video earlier. I started to watch the beginning of it before this, but I don't know how the turnout was. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome. I wish I could take my mom out, uh, but she's in Nebraska and I'm in Texas. So that doesn't work out too well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know, I uh, can't remember what his name is, but one of his uh, subscribers showed up and it was just him and uh, Justin starting the grill and everything, but that's as far as I got. I don't know if anybody else ended up showing up or not. A <laughs> five minute drive, yeah. <laughs> like a, a 20 hour drive. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> We've just been setting up for the baby shower all morning. Starts at 6 this evening, so we got a few hours after this. I gotta go shave and shower and all that good stuff. <sighs> you guys got any other plans for this weekend? Oh, nice. Yeah, I would have definitely went to Justin Dow's thing uh, if I wasn't a long ass ways away. I think gatherings like that is awesome. Uh, just trying to get a lot of people together is pretty awesome. Especially for the cause that he's doing it for, I think is really awesome. That would have been awesome if we were all closer and we could have all went. That would have been that would have been something else. Because it's one thing talking to you guys, you know, almost every day online, but actually meeting you that would be awesome. I don't know why I'm having such poor connection. Is it? Uh, how's the quality, guys? Is it like skipping or pausing or anything? It just keeps telling me poor connection. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi, but lately, I don't know. It's just been taking a crap on me and I, it, for no reason. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, it took me like five minutes to get this thing going. It was just sitting here loading, saying going live. It wasn't doing anything. I had to restart it like three times to get this thing going. Yeah, I really wanted to do this later when a lot more people could, you know, watch this. But with the baby shower starting at 6, who knows how late people are going to stay. So I didn't think I'd have time and didn't really have time to actually make it a real video today like usual because if I would have recorded anything, I would have been spending all day up in the office editing the video and everything. I would have missed the baby shower. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope uh, as many of you as possible get to spend time with your mother. Uh, I really wish I could, but I guess next time I, me and my wife go on leave, we'll go home and see her. So. So I was thinking since I just hit uh, 1,500 subscribers, obviously I need to do another gift giveaway. And uh, I know I normally do an enrollment on one of my normal videos here at home, but I was thinking uh, since I need to do a video on my other Home Depot, which I usually go to, unlike that other one I showed you guys last time, uh, I think I'm gonna do the enrollment part in that video. So stay tuned for the visiting Home Depot part two, I guess you would call it. It's my other Home Depot that I like a lot more. Uh, that will be the video that you guys can actually, you know, subscribe, like, and comment in order to be enrolled. And uh, for the enrollment, it will be a set of the USA Tecton screwdrivers, just like the set that I just bought. Uh, these screwdrivers are freaking amazing. Uh, I love the handles. At first I was like, what the hell kind of design is that? But I'm telling you, they're extremely comfortable and they're extremely nice screwdrivers. So I'm gonna do the eight piece set as the gift giveaway, along with a flashlight and a snap-on little pocket screwdriver as well. And uh, you get three different sizes of uh, normal length screwdrivers, then you'll get two stubbies as well. And I'm telling you guys, uh, whoever it is that does win, uh, I think you'll really enjoy them. I was gonna do like a small socket rail or something, but after I bought these uh, Tecton screwdrivers, I really wanna share them with somebody else so they can let me know how they like them. Yeah, because I got the gear wrench set, as you know, I got the master set up here, and those are extremely nice. You know, the entire set of the master 20 piece set runs 65 bucks. Uh, that's not a bad deal at all, and I know you can get smaller sets than that. Uh, and those are really nice as well, a nice strong magnet, where as I think you actually have to magnetize these. I don't know if they actually have a magnetic tip. I don't think they do. No. Uh, but they're extremely clean, like <clears throat> extremely nice. And for like 20, 25 bucks, you can't beat that. USA made screwdrivers, that's amazing. Yeah, so hopefully uh, somebody that's uh, really looking for some screwdrivers, like I know Minion's Garage, he needs some screwdrivers, so hopefully he sees this video and uh, understands how to enroll. Because I, somebody like that, somebody that needs them or uh, somebody that would really enjoy them, that's who I want to win it. Uh, I mean, anybody could win it, but... Yeah, that, that's what I was uh, about to say, is you can just make them magnetic. When I found out they weren't, it wasn't that big of a deal. I just had to get one of those little magnetizers. I got a magnet right here. Nope. <laughs> uh. Which? Oh, 
which set you want to go with. Yeah. Yeah, because I really like that gear wrench set of screwdrivers I got. I was originally going to take that to my work box once, you know, I get done with school. Uh, but once I saw those Tekton ones and the price, I think they'll go great in my service car sitting in those holes that are made for them. Because uh, I still have my Matco ones as well. Is that a free... Oh, the magnet? Yeah. Yeah, I got one here to catch all my uh, caps for my Corona. And then I got one up here as well. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. I, what are they normally? A, a few bucks, but you can get them free? I mean, they're awesome. Uh, these little magnets. I know a lot of people that mount them inside their toolboxes and stuff like that. I don't really need to do that since this toolbox has that big ass magnetic strip across the back. But it works really well for my workbench. Whenever I'm working on it, I can just throw the screws and bolts right there on the magnetic strip. <coughs> But yeah, I'm thinking either tomorrow, I don't know. I'm going to try and take my wife out to dinner tomorrow. Uh, but if I have some time, that's when I want to run over to that Home Depot that I usually go to that I know actually has some toolboxes, unlike the one that I went to last time. Uh, and do a tour of that one for you guys. If not tomorrow, then I'll definitely do it Monday after school. Speaking of that, I, uh, as you guys know, if you've watched any of these previous live videos, I, uh, I'm trying to get an internship with uh, DSR, Don Schumacher Racing. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <clears throat> Definitely got to take her out, especially since it's her first Mother's Day. I mean, our son's not born yet, but she's still a mother to me, so... Definitely want to take her out. Uh, what was I saying? Had a brain fart. Oh yeah, I'm uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm really trying to get that internship. Usually they take guys that are really close to graduation during their actual internship. I'm only about one third of the way through school. I still have about a year left. Uh, so normally they wouldn't pick uh, somebody that's only been you know in school for six or eight months but I have a higher GPA and score than a majority of the people in my school and they've already select there's three trips each one is five weeks long uh, and they've already selected people for the first trip I think if I do get selected this year it'll be for the last trip which is in like August or September uh, which I'm fine with but I was really nervous that I wasn't gonna get it because I didn't know how many people applied. But uh, a couple weeks ago, we held a award ceremony at my school. And not only did, not, did I get an award for you know a 3.8 GPA and higher, along with a 98% attendance rate, but I got that award. And on top of that, I got a leadership award, which is basically you know good grades, good attendance, and somebody that uh, you know helps others. And that's what I love doing. Uh, I was really surprised that I got it though, because there's even a couple guys there that own their own shop and everything, and they are very knowledgeable. Those are guys that I ask questions about uh, anytime I'm running into an issue with my Camaro. Uh, I was really surprised somebody like that didn't get called out, but uh, I was extremely happy about it. I was going to show it in my, one of my videos, but I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't really feel like showing anybody that. <laughs> Uh, I think the first trip, uh, I know one of the stops is Colorado and then over on the East Coast, but each one is like three or four stops and it's five weeks long, uh, but I think doing the DSR thing and even if I don't get uh, offered a job after the internship, that's still freaking amazing just to go with an NHRA team and work with them. Uh, I think that would be an amazing experience. But I guess we'll see. And if I do get it, uh, I guess I'll be letting you guys know within the next couple of months. Oh. It's 
So you guys got any other plans for this weekend besides taking your moms out to dinner and stuff? What's up, Nate? That's awesome. I'll definitely have to check out your uh, tour and everything. That would be pretty cool. I hope you enjoy the tools that you got. <laughs> what new tools do I plan on getting? I actually have a list. Uh, for a video that I'm gonna be doing here soon, but obviously I've been talking about getting that Milwaukee Ratchet. Couldn't do it this month because I had to register my car, but in order to register my car, I had to do the Texas State Inspection. In order to pass that inspection, I had to get new tires for my car. So that was a lot of damn money. Uh, so I didn't get to spend a lot on tools this month. <laughs> but that uh, cordless ratchet, uh, the gear wrench 120 XP double box end flex head wrenches uh, That if you guys watched Justin Dow's live stream last night uh, That wrench set that he got it goes all the way up to 32 and he got it for like 86 bucks I was looking because you guys know I already have plenty of wrenches in my work box and here But I needed something I think the highest one I had was like a 20 or a 21 and I'm gonna need something a little bit bigger than that and I was gonna get a set of gear wrench, like uh, 21 through 25, and then another one that was 25 through 32, and each one of those were about $100. Uh, but that set he got was 86 bucks, and it goes all the way from like six millimeter all the way up to 32. Uh, so I might as well save, you know, like $100 and just get an entire another set. Uh, especially since those gear wrench ones, they also have the open end feature. Uh, it's got like a tooth on the inside. Uh, so that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, yeah, I heard a lot of good things about Ridge and I had never bought one and I did that uh, tour of Home Depot and a lot of people were saying the rigid stuff is really good. 179, hell yeah. The 120 XP uh, flex head double box end is pretty damn expensive. Uh, I think it was Doyle, uh, he comments on a lot of my videos. Normally the Gear Wrench 120 XP double box end is anywhere from 175 to 200 and something dollars. Uh, he actually sent me a link in one of my previous videos if you are interested. It's like $150, uh, granted that is a good amount of money, but that's still better than anything else that you're gonna uh, get it for. So if you are interested, that's a good place to check it out. Nice. Yeah, it's an extremely nice set. I look at it all the time and I'm like, ugh, I want to buy it this month, but we got to wait. Hey, what's up, Kyle? How you doing? Uh, you haven't missed much. I'll go over... Uh, uh, the stuff I've talked about here in a second over 200 bucks yeah uh, most of the time that's what you find it for is over 200 bucks but if you check out I think it's within the last two or three videos of mine uh, look for Doyle uh, he left a comment and it's got the 120 XP the full set for like $150 so that's absolutely amazing uh, what else do I have on my list um, I know I got a vice grip set from OEM Tools on one of the lists. That's like 60 bucks for an entire set of like seven because I don't have crap for vice grips. I have one pair of vice grips in my work box and the three cobalt ones here. And the cobalt ones work okay, but the handles are extremely huge. Yeah. Uh, Gear Wrench also does have their double box end wrenches, not the 120 XPs, uh, just a normal 72 tooth count. And I think they're non flex head, 
uh, but they usually run around 100 to 120 for those sets, which is damn good, but I want that uh, flex head feature and that 120 XP feature, because as you guys know, I love the 120 XP stuff, uh, but you're definitely gonna pay for it. <laughs> An adjustable wrench for 540 bucks. Yeah, I'd get it. <laughs> Snap on AP screwdriver set. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, the thing that's great about getting like the snap on uh, stuff online and you find a deal like that, even if it's used and you break something or it comes broken. A majority of the time you can probably get it exchanged uh, through Snap-on as long as they aren't being dicks. <laughs> That's a big adjustable wrench. The SKX frame, I had that on my Amazon list for the longest time. I think those are some amazing look at, uh, looking wrenches. Uh, I think they were like 230 bucks. I had them on my list for the longest time and I still want them, but I have a crap ton of wrenches. I mean, not only is this entire large drawer filled with wrenches, but my workbox, the entire top part of my service cart is nothing but wrenches. And I still have another case in the bottom drawer that doesn't fit on my rails in the top. Uh, so I got plenty of wrenches. I already plan on getting the, the gear wrench set that goes up to 32. So if I didn't have so many wrenches, I would definitely get that SK set. Uh, I mean, the frame is a little bit thicker, but who gives a damn? You got plenty of other wrenches. Uh, I love the six point design. It's like, what is it, like 200 position uh, box end? I mean, that's just insane. Yeah, I've seen the, the Joker set as well. I thought that was really cool. It's got that plate on the side of the open end so you, uh, it doesn't fall through when you put like a fastener or anything on it. Yeah, 1.7 degree arc swing. Yeah. I thought gear wrenches uh, 120 XP was insane, but that's just ridiculous with those uh, X frames. Yeah, it's a uh, wear a joker. Uh, I think it's German, right? And uh, it's a really cool looking wrench. Uh, it's a really cool design. And they got like a plate on, like, <clears throat> like here, they would have like a little lip that runs around the backside. So when you put a fastener through, it doesn't slide through. It stays right here so you can start it with the open end as well. Expensive on Amazon. Yeah, they're expensive wherever you find them. Uh, both the SK X-Frame and the Wera Jokers, they're expensive wrenches, but they're a really cool design. Something, you know, completely different from your average wrench, which is something that I like. I don't like getting, you know, the same thing that everybody else has. I like unique stuff, but I ended up getting what everybody else got. <laughs> Made in another country though? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, I knew Wera was through, uh, you know, Germany, but I didn't know they made them somewhere else. Good brand of regular what? Wrenches? I have Craftsman, Universal, Gear Wrench, Ratchet Wrenches, Gear Wrench, Stubby Ratchet, and Pittsburgh Flex Ratchet. Oh wow, I didn't know they came out with the reversible ones. Yeah, truthfully, I don't even know the, uh, the warranty on those either. Uh, maybe John knows what the warranty is for uh, either, either one of those sets. Well, I'm sure SK has, you know, lifetime, but I'm not sure about where. Carlisle is good, yeah. I've, uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of Carlisle, uh, but I've never used them. But I've heard a lot of good things, and I saw some, I think it was at Napa, 
but that's when I was trying to shoot you guys a video and I couldn't because everything was behind the counter. You can't just walk up to the cash register and be like, move over, I'm trying to make a movie here. <laughs> Oh, lifetime for both? That's awesome. Yeah, Nate, uh, I'm extremely happy with my Tectons too. Those wrenches are extremely nice, uh, especially for the price. Granted, I only use them here at home, but I really do think they'd be, they'd be great for both uh, do-it-yourselfers or professionals. They're beautiful wrenches. Granted, they don't have any like open-end features or anything like that, but for a normal set of wrenches, I think anybody would be happy with those. What's up, Cummins Camping? Yeah, I've heard some companies won't warranty them if you get them offline either, but I figure in, you know, a majority of the time that you break a tool, it's either right away when you get it and it's a really cheap tool or if it's an expensive tool, it's probably a while before you break it. Let's say a few years. Are you even gonna really remember whether you bought it in a store, on a truck, or on Amazon? If you have a lot of tools, that is. Uh, I probably won't remember. And if they ask me, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know where the hell I got it and I don't have the receipt. I'm gonna just keep calling them until somebody warranties that product. <laughs> Oh, Czech Republic? Okay. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, everybody, please hit that thumbs up. Yeah, I completely agree, John. If you don't misuse your stuff, you're probably not going to break it. Granted, there are those times that accidents just do happen, but a majority of the time, if you take care of your stuff, it's going to be just fine. And man, a few, it was an older video of mine, uh, one of my first tool talks, and somebody went on there, oh, your tools look all brand new. Well, at the time, they, they were brand new. Uh, I just moved into the house. I, I owned basically no tools before I moved into this house, uh, not even a year ago. I had a Stanley set of tools, and uh, I had always, you know, before I joined the army, I used my dad's tools. I joined the army, I didn't need tools, I was a cop. Uh, didn't really have any project cars. Now that I have a home and a project car, I needed tools. And uh, so it didn't aggravate me that he said that about my tools being you know, clean or whatever. But now after a year, a majority of them still look the same. And it's not because I haven't used them. It's because I take care of my shit. If you don't, well, let's say you're taking off the fastener and some people like laying on the ground underneath the car, they just throw their ratchet on the ground. I'm sorry, I have OCD, I'm not gonna throw anything. Like, even when I get upset, I don't throw anything. Uh, I set it down. Uh, so my stuff's not gonna get scratched up from, from being thrown, maybe beating on, uh, you know, beating my ratchet up against something when I'm loosening something. But other than that, my tools look great because every time I'm done using them and I'm done working on my project car for the day, I clean everything with WD-40. And then once a month, I go through my entire toolbox and wipe everything down. Uh, I mean everything. So if you just take care of your tools and don't throw them or beat the shit out of them, they're going to last you a really long time. Yeah, that's, I watched that video, who, uh, the tool review or, uh, somebody did a test on the SK and just started snapping bolts with the SKs. Uh, 
Oh, Cummins Camping, it sounds like you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, John, use the right tool, and not only is that job gonna go by a lot faster, but you're not gonna break your tools. I'll go over that again in just a second, Kyle. Yeah, real tool reviews, that was it. That's always a good idea. Like, I still have all of my Stanley and Pittsburgh stuff here at home because if I do do a job that I'm like, ugh, what if I break something? That's when I'm gonna use the cheap stuff. Or if I had to beat something, I'm gonna use the cheap stuff because if I do break it, I'm not gonna be all butthurt or mad about it. <clears throat> Cheers to you, Cummins. Uh, so, the gift giveaway, if you guys watched uh, one of my previous tool talks, uh, it was over the Tekton uh, USA made screwdrivers. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do for my gift giveaway. I'm not gonna give you mine, because I'm really excited to use these. These are some beautiful screwdrivers. Uh, but for the gift giveaway, now that we're at 1,500 subscribers, or over 1,500, uh, I'm gonna order another eight piece set, and uh, do that as a gift giveaway, as well as, obviously, a uh, pocket flashlight and a pocket screwdriver from Snap-on, uh, as always. But you get, you know, three different sizes of your average length screwdrivers. And then you will also get a set of the Stubbies, Phillips, and Flathead as well. And I'm telling you, these screwdrivers are extremely nice. Just the handles and the feel of them are absolutely amazing. I think anybody, whether you've been doing this for a really long time or you're just starting out, I think anybody would be excited to use these screwdrivers. They're extremely well made. Cheers. All good luck with the Tekton so far? Yes. Uh, everything that I've gotten through Tekton, uh, Besides their angled wrenches that you guys know uh, are their older model, they discontinued them. And I really haven't used them yet because even though I'm doing my project car, uh, there's really nothing uh, that I really need a wrench that size for right now. So I haven't really used those. And the pry bars are, are a little thin, but everything else that I've gotten from Tekton is amazing. I love it. Yeah, man, uh, Kyle, they are a, a, it's a badass little set. Yeah, very true, John. Who is that? Nate, you have the, uh, the Tekton impact sockets. I've heard a lot of great things about those and I was really considering getting a set for my work box. Uh, damn it. I might have to move you guys to plug you in. Get the hell out of here. Hold on, guys. What? Go away. I got something on my screen and it won't go away, guys. So. I'm gonna have to plug you in. So that means you gotta move. Ugh. All right, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My phone was under 25%, so it went into some saving mode. Ugh. Haven't tried checking yet, except for magnetic trays. Oh yeah, it, that's true. It's hard to mess up a magnetic tray. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've heard really good thing about the Tekton impact sockets, and I was actually, you guys know my work box. I have 
uh, Matco and pack sockets all the way up to like 36. So plenty of those. But uh, I figure once I start working, I'm gonna keep a majority of my sockets in uh, my big work box. And then I'm gonna use my service cart and I'm gonna have my most commonly used stuff. So I was gonna get a set of the Tekton impact sockets, but I found the gear wrench set, half inch drive, uh, and you get many more pieces for the price. So I think I'm gonna go with that one instead. But I've been hearing a lot of great things about the Tekton impact sockets. <laughs> Didn't miss much, just me sideways. <laughs> oh, they actually skip sizes? That's usually one thing that I really like about the Tekton is they don't really skip sizes. Oh, in the 3 8 Oh, and those of you that just heard about what the gift giveaway is, uh, when I'll actually be doing the enrollment for it will either be tomorrow or Monday as soon as I can get to the Home Depot that I usually go to uh, and do a tour of that because those videos seem to get pretty good uh, views. A lot of people are interested in the tours of uh, stores like Harbor Freight and Home Depot and those. So I figured that'll bring in more people to uh, be enrolled in the gift giveaway and kind of uh, spread the chances of people getting these tools. But it'll be in that video that you can enroll. You'll just, you know, like and comment if you're already subscribed. And if you're not, please subscribe. <laughs> Mechanic Man, are you the winner? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good things about the Grey Pneumatic and uh, there's one other brand that's a pretty damn good price. Uh, it's all over Amazon and eBay. What is it, SunX? They're supposed to have, I think it's SunX, pretty good impact sockets as well. I know what you mean, David. Uh, the OCD with the skipping sizes, skipping anything drives me nuts. Uh, just like when, let's see if I can turn you guys. This back rail here, it's the uh, Harbor Freight rail system, which I gotta tell you guys is a great rail system. Uh, but when I filled it up with my sockets, I didn't fill in every size like 27, uh, and like two other sizes. It drove me nuts with those just missing. So I had to fill them in. I don't know I don't know if I'll ever use those sizes, but I'd rather have them and fill in that rack than not have them. <laughs> you guys better watch that Home Depot video. Uh, if you want to be the winner. <laughs> you have the 3H Sunax Impact? I did not know that. Sunax has a great set of impacts on the 3H drive. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Sunax uh, sockets are really good, especially for the price, because the majority of the time you can get them for a really good price. The hook things. Oh, uh, to like hang it on the wall or whatever, you know, that little hook that is on the end that you can like slide it on uh, their shelves or whatever. I think I cut mine off with my Dremel. <laughs> CJ, CJR shop, what's up?
Yeah, I would cut them off. They were really annoying because I was trying to fit stuff in my toolbox, you know, all lined up and everything. And when I had those little hooks on the end, it was messing everything up. So I just flipped them over and cut those little things off. But the thing that I like about them is the part that you actually put the socket on, you know, a lot of them like the Snap-on and a lot of the other brands uh, where the socket actually sits, it's got that plastic rod that comes up all the way. I don't know about you, but those things always tend to break. Uh, ever since I was a kid, every time I see them, uh, people always tend to break those. So when I actually, when I was checking these out at Harbor Freight, I opened up the box and I saw that, you know, it's just enough to hold the socket, it's that square uh, drive part. I thought that was awesome. Uh, and all my sockets fit great in that uh, little rail. Just checked, what? Come back. Just checked. It's standard length, half drive, that skips. It has through 15. Okay, so it doesn't have 16, it doesn't have 20. Or I'm guessing you had 20, 21, 24, 27. Okay, so you're only missing like two sizes. That That's not too bad. Uh, a majority of places aren't gonna give you, no, you know, a 26. Uh, 28, 29, and at 31, those are just sizes that don't or aren't used, but still, there are a couple sizes that are missing. Come on. Yeah, I know a lot of people that try and put impact sockets in these Harbor Freight trays, and that's just not going to work, but people have to understand that a majority of these trays. Uh, from Harbor Freight are made for normal chrome sockets and if you know anything you know uh, impact sockets are you know they got the thicker wall so a majority of the time when you get up into those bigger size sockets they're not gonna fit the only thing with those holders Yeah, just like I was saying, a lot of the time with the impact sockets, you're going to run into that issue of, you know, some of the sockets not fitting just because the sockets are going to be a little bit thicker. So I understand that. Uh, but it works great for my chrome sockets. It goes all the way up to 27, so. And it's, uh, the plastic on the bottom of the rail system doesn't sit as high as, like, my Ernst ones. So the sockets actually fit in a... Uh, smaller drawer That makes sense, you know, like if I would have used my Ernst rail for these half-inch drive sockets It would have been sitting way up here, and I wouldn't be able to get the drawer shut But since the Harbor Freight one has a, a thinner bottom to it. It fits a lot better Did you there we go Hmm that's weird. <laughs> yeah, so uh, anybody that is new, got the baby shower going on today. I hope you guys have a great weekend with your mothers if you get the chance to spend it with her. I really hope uh, you guys do, and I hope you guys take her out to dinner or show her you know, how much you appreciate her. Uh, we got our baby shower tonight for my son that will be here probably within the next month, Elijah, uh, that's his name. So pretty excited. We've been setting stuff up all morning. Uh, a lot of people are supposed to be showing up around six o'clock. Otherwise I would have done this later in the day uh, where I know a lot more of you guys could have watched this. Cause I know right now we're sitting at like eight people watching. So it's not the best turnout, but I still enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, Please, if you guys have any friends that are interested in tools, cars, or anything like that, please spread the word. Uh, let them know about me. Always, uh, I enjoy talking to new people, and I love subscribers. Thank you, CJR. What impacts am I using? Is that comment for me? <laughs> yeah, the Ernst rails, I really like them, uh, the, especially the locking feature. 
to switch like two of his technic impacts so I can stop disappearing. I'm not having the best luck, guys. <laughs> huh. You can fit more in than once. Yeah, that's the thing I like about the Ernest Rails, too. You can just keep putting clips on those, and you can fit as many possible sockets, you know, as you can. That's the thing I like, because right now, mine are spaced out pretty well. My quarter inch and my three eighths are pretty, you know, well stacked, but my half inch stuff, it's on the other rail. But my impact sockets, they're pretty spaced out because I don't have a lot of impact sockets because uh, I can get by without a huge set here at home because I don't need all that much. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. It is definitely a never ending bad battle. Uh, right now for home, at my workbox, I have Matco impact sockets. Uh, but let me raise you guys up. Hit. Uh, running out of cord. Moving my beer. Uh, these are all gear wrench. I'm not sure if one is chromoly and one's. Yeah, uh, the 3H drive is chromoly, and I think the half inch drive are. Nope, they're chromoly too. So they are, you know, a little bit better than the CRV stuff. And that's both 3 8 and half inch. For the half inch, I just went with the shallow sockets. I didn't get the deep. Uh, because here at home, I don't really use a whole lot of huge stuff so I can get by without it. Uh, so I have gear wrench impact sockets here at home. And I haven't used a whole lot of them, but what I have used, they've worked great. Thank you, Kyle. A Chevy Ford debate. What's going on here? <laughs> Later, CJR. Air or cordless impacts? Uh, well, it depends on what you're working on. Uh, if all the cordless tools out there were as strong as pneumatic air tools. We would never need pneumatic air tools ever again. But I would say for accessibility and ease of operation, cordless tools are the bomb. Uh, I love them because you don't got to drag around the hose. But there are those times that you just can't get something off with a cordless tool. And that's where a pneumatic uh, air tool kicks ass. When is the baby due? Uh, it was originally due June 12th, but uh, we talked to the doctor a few months ago and they said that it could have been the wrong due date. It could be about a week earlier. So maybe around June 7th or 8th or so. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Early June. That would be cool. A changing table and stuff, a uh, toolbox. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I don't have money like that though. I mean, I got decent, but that goes to my car. Uh, I did tell a bunch of buddies from school uh, if they do come to the baby shower and they can't afford a baby gift that they should just buy me tools. <laughs> Not that that's any cheaper than baby stuff, but I'm preparing for my son's future. These are tools for him. <laughs> Yeah, a month away. Actually, less than a month now. Oh, the Impact Rent brand. Okay. Yeah, it's a baby boy, and we went with, uh, his name is going to be Elijah. Uh, I tried, you know, my cat's name is Vegeta, and I tried to convince my wife that I wanted to name my son Goku, but she wasn't having it. <laughs> I was just playing with her, though. <laughs> uh, 
I really like the name Elijah. Uh, and I don't know. She was like, oh, it's a little long. Nobody's going to know how to spell it. I was like, well, Elijah's pretty simple to, to spell. And people can just call him Eli, so. Yeah, that's it. That's a good trick. I'm just going to be like, oh, I got him a tool. You got to get him one too. And then I'll just keep it in my toolbox until he's, you know, of age. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as soon as he's born, I mean, I will definitely have him in a video for you guys to meet. I can't wait for you guys to meet my son. I can't wait to meet my son. My first baby boy, uh, first child. So. <laughs> Clamato? <laughs> I was like, what? I'm not making Clamatos. Uh, the Camaro's coming good. I'm still waiting on my painter to uh, paint those pieces. Uh, I've got all the wiring done except for putting the actual sleeving on the passenger side. That's the only thing I have left uh, next month. There would have been more work done this month, but I had to buy my uh, tires for my car, which was not cheap. I had to register my car here in Texas for the first time, so that was over $200. So, a lot of money got spent this month in areas that I didn't plan. So, next month, I will be ordering my radiator and uh, we'll be mocking that up and test fitting it, making sure that's good to go. Uh, and then after that, really, I just gotta send my pulley system out uh, to get powder coated and after that, we're good to go. I just need to order the transmission. And I noticed a lot of people are like, oh, what's going on with the Camaro? Not, not the way you are. Uh, they're wondering why it's not done yet. And obviously those people have never built a car uh, from the stage that I have. You don't just buy a car and throw parts at it and money at it and it's done in two or three months. Uh, I really hope people realize that project cars actually take months, if not years, to rebuild. So I just, I hate the people that uh, expect a car to be done in, you know, two months. Uh, if you got a few grand to throw my way, my transmission, it needs to handle 700 horse. If you got two grand or three grand to throw my way, I'll, I'll be glad to take it. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll put a sticker on the inside of the car with your name on it. <laughs> That would be a badass name, Leonidas. <laughs> West Texas, on your way to you pull it. What do you gotta pick up? <laughs> Should have named him Snap On? I don't think so. Baby's already cost enough. If I name him Snap On, we're gonna be spending multiple people's lifetimes worth of money on him. Yeah, it's just the people, they don't understand that building something actually takes time and a lot of money. <laughs> and granted, I saved up for this project car for eight years. Uh, and I had thousands saved up. And even though I have the money for this transmission, just the thought of having to spend that money on this transmission, I'm like, ugh. This money is purposely, you know, for that transmission, yet I, I don't want to spend that money just because I like having money. <laughs> I have to name it after you? Uh, well, I'm still trying to think of a name for it. Like, I got White Diamond here. Uh, and I didn't want to go strictly with the beast for my Camaro because that's just you know, uh, off of Street Outlaws and I didn't want that name. So I was gonna go with the Beauty and the Beast because she is gonna be a beauty and she's gonna be a beast. But that's a little bit maybe too long of a name. Uh, so maybe you guys can help me pick a name for my Camaro. <laughs> Blue Point then? Uh, you're getting, maybe I'll name him Gear Ranch or something. You know, I like good deals. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Your vehicle speed sensor, the gear is plastic? David, uh, that's a deal. <laughs> that's not normally a car's, uh, you know, name, but if that was the deal, I would do it. <laughs> Harbor Freight, you get out of this video right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's not my vehicle, but that's that's crazy. I did not know they were plastic. It's really weird because usually that's a, a magnetic sensor, you know? It picks up the, the wave signal off of a metal gear. That's weird that they're plastic. Oh. Uh, yes, you can pick the color as long as it is matte chrome uh, maroon. <laughs> that's your option. Maybe black. Uh, I am doing a final wrap, so a matte black or a matte maroon would look really good. So those are your options. <laughs> craftsman, uh, old craftsman like USA craftsman or craftsman, you know, of today. If, what? <laughs> okay, David, you're getting a little out of hand now. Uh, I gotta name my son and my car after you. I want to see a lot of money. <laughs> okay, Kyle, that's, the, that's not bad, but <laughs> I don't think I'm going to name my kid after a tool company, and I definitely don't think my wife's going to go for that. Yeah, that sounds good, David. <laughs> he can always change his name later on in life if he doesn't like it, but I have a lot of friends named David, so I think he'll be happy with it. <laughs> David, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Alright, Cummins Camping, have a good night uh, and a great weekend. And I hope you get to spend some time with your mother or your wife or, you know, somebody that really means a lot to you. I hope you have a great weekend. Well, you better hurry up and win the lottery because now you're getting me excited. <laughs> oh man, I need to change my contacts, man. I know you're supposed to change them like every month or something and you're supposed to take them out every night, but I literally never do that. I've had these contacts in for maybe, you know, four to six months and I don't take them out ever, ever. <laughs> my wife hates it. Yeah, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you guys all get to spend time with your mothers or your wives or your significant others. And just even though, even if they're not moms, let them know how important they are to you. And make sure to hit that thumbs up, guys. Yeah, that's for sure. I think that's the problem that I'm running into with these contacts. Uh, when I was in Georgia, it wasn't that big of a deal. But ever since I was stationed in Arizona and Texas, this weather has just been messing with my contacts so much. I go outside, you get blasted in the face with sand. And then every time I end up working on my Camaro, I clean the engine bay, you guys know, because I just painted it and everything. And literally two days later, it's in the garage. It never leaves the garage. Granted, I have my garage door open for videos, but my engine bay is covered in dust and rocks every couple of days just because of the wind. <laughs> no, Kyle. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should close that. I got the fuel line I still got to put together too. And I really wanted to mock the fuel line up for my Camaro uh, before I put the engine in, but 
I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I think I might wait till I get the trans and engine in the car so I can, you know, get the right measurements and everything. What? Come on, guys. <laughs> Is my name Gavin? No. <laughs> it's Anthony. Or Tony. As you guys know me. What's up? Matthew Brown from the UK. Thank you. Uh, Kyle, I don't think my wife is going to agree with anything tool related. Uh, I gave her multiple names like Damien. She didn't like it because it sounded too much like Demon. Because uh, I get a lot of the names from shows that I watch. You know, like the Vampire Diaries. Uh, what else? Uh, Dragon Ball. You know, I watch The Grimm. Uh, I watch a lot of TV shows, guys. And I named off all of my favorite people. And she just was not having it. But I finally got Elijah to stick. And I think that's a badass name. He's just gotta have an English accent, and we'll be good. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> His name's already set, damn it. It's too late. She's even, she's, every time I say Elijah, she's like, oh, are you sure you wanna stick with that? Yes. It's not changing, it's too late now. <laughs> but yeah we got a whole bunch of food ready we got some drinks I got myself some Corona to get me through the day uh, we set up you know some cake I made some cheesecake in little plastic cups they look bomb I don't want to share them with anybody else I might bring some out here in my garage and put them in the fridge with my Corona so nobody sees them <laughs> my wife says I'm greedy I don't I don't know what she's talking about. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, guys, if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Oh, we've been on here for over an hour now. Uh, I really wish I could have done this later in the day so more of you guys could have been watching. Uh, I really like a big group. That's why I like watching Justin Dow's and everybody else's live videos. Uh, because I get to talk to a lot of you guys and I think that's awesome. I wish we could get, you know, like 45 people on my live video. Uh, granted, it's not going to happen at this time in the day because a lot of people are busy right now, especially with it being Mother's Day weekend. But, uh, Kyle, we're, no. <laughs> Matthew. All right, David. That's awesome, Mechanic Man 92 I'm extremely happy for you. Keep up that diet. That's, that's a great way to do it. Uh, I wish we were closer. I could, uh, you know, help you. I, I uh, like to go to the gym, and I used to eat pretty healthy, but ever since my wife got pregnant, we've been eating a lot of crap. Uh, no excuse, though. That's my fault. I should clean up my eating. 16 pounds? Hell yeah, brother. Sixteen PM in the UK and I am What box would I recommend? Oh that's a good question. What type of money are you trying to spend? What what kind of quality are you looking for? Is it, you know, a box that you want for life? And is it gonna be something that you're gonna be using every day? Or uh, is it something that you're gonna be using, you know, every once in a while? Do you wanna move up in qualities of box or do you just want to start out with the most expensive box possible <laughs> I did notice guys uh, that I get a fair amount of views you know right before I go to bed but I get a crap ton of views in the middle of the night uh, so I don't know where those views are coming from but whoever it is thank you guys so much I remember I went to bed and I think my Home Depot or Harbor Freight video had like I don't know 600 views I woke up and it had 1500 views 
and I woke up again and it was at 3,000. So anywhere in between like nine and four, I'm getting a crap ton of views or, you know, it's a crap ton for me. I'm really happy with it. Uh, but whoever it is, thank you guys so much. That's awesome, Mechanic Man. I used to run a lot. <laughs> Being in the Army, you run every other day, if not every day, miles. And uh, you gotta be careful. Don't, don't run every single day because running too much is actually you know, hard on the body. It's great for losing weight, but uh, you gotta be really careful because it's really hard on the back and it's really hard on the knees. But that is, that is one way to work your core really well is running. Running is one of the best core workouts there is. That's a good way to think about it, Matthew. Uh, kind of a, well, not like an extremely cheap box. You don't want something that's gonna fall apart on you. But starting out, you know, going with a cheaper box and focusing on good tools so you can do a good job and get those jobs done well, uh, that's a really good way to go about it. And I'm gonna name off some things, but I don't know what you have access to in the UK, to be honest. You know, Snap-on being way up there and you know, uh, the no brand eBay stuff way down low and you know looking at the Harbor Freight stuff uh, last you know last week or a couple days ago the US general stuff it I'm pretty sure it's improved since the last time I looked at them the first time I looked at them the boxes were not that great I grabbed a drawer and I thought it was gonna fall apart on me uh, this time I was opening up the drawers and just looking at them a little bit closer even after uh, that video clip was over those boxes have they've been improved and they seem really damn nice you know especially for the price uh, I'm extremely happy with my husky this thing's been holding up great uh, somebody showed up for the baby shower I think or somebody's just using my driveway to turn around uh, but uh, besides that you know you got extremetoolbox.com I think it is or what is it they got extreme toolboxes uh, tool ball the gator built uh, there's a there's a lot of them out there for a really good price uh, but I would definitely check out the the gator built box that's the one I'm really interested in On the elliptical, that's good, bro. And if you sit in the sauna or anything, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Granted, the sauna is made for sweating it out, but the last thing you want to do is die in the sauna. <laughs> What's up, David? ABC, I have a professional box and it fell apart after a few months. Damn, that sucks. Sealy boxes are amazing. I don't know if I've ever looked at a Sealy box before. I was looking at uh, their Torx sticks though. Those seem pretty nice uh, and the best priced as far as I can tell. I know Harbor Freight has them, but I heard people shattering uh, the the torch sticks. One second, guys. We got somebody here. I gotta open up the front door. I got it, baby. Sealy available in the US for the most part I've seen a few Sealy products but I I didn't know they were like a huge thing this must be like some some UK stuff because I I haven't heard a lot of a lot of this stuff Ugh. 
But yeah, once again, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Even if you're not with your mother or significant other, I really hope you guys have a great weekend. And I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. We're over 1,500 subscribers now. And I'm telling you, a few months ago when I first started this, I mean, granted, I had a video from like a year ago that I had posted. But uh, I didn't even know what, you know, to do with YouTube at that time. Uh, and when I actually decided to start this channel, I didn't really think it was going to go really anywhere. I didn't know much about it. I didn't know anything. Are you recording a video? Yeah. Are you live? There's my wife. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Okay, bye. <laughs> she probably didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> Strictly toolboxes, that's the one. Uh, I don't know why I called it Extreme Toolboxes. They have Extreme Toolboxes on strictlytoolboxes.com. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for all your support. I didn't think this channel was really gonna go anywhere. Uh, but the real goal of this channel is to just really help people. Not only if you're rebuilding a car, granted I'm rebuilding a Camaro, but if you guys are rebuilding anything or working on anything, it doesn't matter what it is, I will do my absolute best to help you guys out. That is what I'm actually here to do, is to help you guys. Uh, and then the tool reviews and stuff like that, that's just to give you an idea of, you know, the quality and prices of that stuff and to let you know whether I like them or not because the last thing I want you guys to do is go out and even if it is a cheaper item, uh, the last thing I want is for you to go out and be disappointed with the item. So I really want to let you guys know the quality of them. you help body work I can hit some shit with a hammer boom I don't have any body hammers bro but I can make some work for you I'm pretty good at that Yeah, man, uh, please let people know of the channel. If they're having problems, you know, they don't want to take their car to a mechanic, uh, even though I personally can't go to you and help you fix your car, I will do absolutely everything I can to help you. So please, if you ever have a question, leave it down in the comments. Uh, even if I don't know the answer off the top of my head, I will do research for you. Uh, and I will do my absolute best to find the answer to solve whatever issue you have. Uh, that's the main reason I'm here. <laughs> Found out you had four subscribers yesterday? Yeah, I didn't even know about subscribers when I first had a YouTube channel. I didn't know anything about views. I didn't know anything about subscribers. I didn't know how any of that crap worked. I thought it was just a place you just threw videos, you know? And now I spend hours a day editing videos and waiting for them to post and hoping that I answered questions as best as possible. Draper expert? Uh, I've heard of Draper and I've heard pretty good things about them, uh, but I don't know anything about their boxes. Not many 13 year olds are into tools and cars. Yeah, most uh, kids nowadays are into dancing around in circles with no clothes on and uh, starting fights for no reason and not getting an education. Uh, so make sure you stay in school and uh, continue to uh, love cars and tools because that's gonna head you in the right direction, brother. I think that's awesome that you got your shit together, Kyle, and uh, you're trying to actually, you know, you love this stuff. Obviously, I see you commenting on everybody's videos, uh, so that just shows how interested you are in this stuff because most of these chat rooms are, you know, filled with uh, men. A majority of them are men, and in their 
you know, mid twenties up to, you know, sixties. And for you to be in here and listening to everybody talk about cars and tools and everything, that just shows that that's something you're really interested in. And I think that's awesome. If you don't pull up the comments, <laughs> uh, there's a way t if you go on uh, your analytics uh, on the side, if you go to community, I think it is, you can click on subscribers and it'll tell you exactly who your subscribers are. That's where I go to check to see if you guys actually subscribe to me to be enrolled in the gift giveaway. So it's not a joke, I know. It's funny because there was this one guy that was talking crap on my channel and I go to his channel and he literally has nothing on it, but he had like 40 subscribers. Why would somebody subscribe to somebody's channel with no videos? Not saying it's, you know, I'm just confused on why you would subscribe to somebody with no videos. I mean, are you waiting for them to post something? That kind of confuses me. Woo! It was a little warm. It's a little warm out here in the garage. The beers don't stay cold very long. Let me get another one, guys. And I'm back. That's awesome, Nate. That's what I want my son to do. I want my son to be out here as much as possible. Because when I was growing up, I tried to spend as much time with my friends as possible and zero time at home. Uh, and I was a shithead when I was a child. But I tell you what, before I left for the army, that year or year and a half that me and my dad spent together rebuilding my Camaro, that was the best time of my life. I had never enjoyed spending so much time not only working on my car, that we were rebuilding, but with my dad, that was an, an amazing experience. Uh, I, I will never forget it. And I can't wait till the baby is born because that means my dad is coming back down and he can see how my project car has come along since he was here last time where the old V6 and everything was still in the car and the engine he brought me was, you know, uh, dirty. and It's been completely rebuilt once again. That's a nice little catcher, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, what's up, melon head? My local dealer of Draper won't order one. Without paying for it. Mm. Oh, I gotta tell you guys, limes smell amazing. I could just sit here and smell a bag of limes all day. Man, I was making my first Corona earlier before the video and I was squeezing the lime in the neck of the bottle, you know, trying to get that juice in there, and the shit exploded right in my eye. <laughs> I ran in the house, I'm like, oh! It was pretty bad. Oh. I get that lime to the bottom. Ah, oh, that's good. So what are you guys doing tonight? Any plans uh, for mothers or anything like that? You guys do anything tomorrow? Of a F0 ratchet. Is that the, I'm guessing that's the zero degree ratchet made by, I think Cobalt has one, Snap-on has one, uh, where it's basically a cam and gear instead of uh, teeth. Is that what you're talking about? Imagine. 
I know, right? Everybody saw it. <laughs> As I get out, I will be full time. Still can't decide. If I don't know why these comments keep disappearing. Just show me the damn comments. Yeah, I mean, I'm using my GI Bill now and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, not only did BAH just go from $1,300 to almost $1,400 a month, but I'm also getting the GI Kicker, so I'm getting a little bit extra and that's where my tools come from, guys. <laughs> I mean, I can't really complain. Uh, you get paid to go to school. I get paid to do exactly what I love. I get paid to learn about it. That's awesome. I should have went to breakfast this morning. You can only see one of your subscribers? That's really weird. I don't know what is going on. I try to keep the comments up and they just disappear. Alright guys, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, I'll be right back out. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take a tinkle. All right. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. Lose 24 a bolt on your water pump. Yeah, I really, th I think that uh, zero degree ratchet is a really cool idea. Not sure exactly how strong they are, uh, but they seem like a really cool idea. Hell yeah, it's third degree. I'm gonna be going, uh, I'm almost, no, I got like a year left of the automotive program. If I don't move and I stay here for a while, uh, or if I do move to Florida or Georgia or something, I'll be going to another school uh, for a tuner program because the more information I have, the better. I'll have the automotive technology, tuner performance program. Uh, I'm gonna go for as much as I can because not only do I get paid for it, but that just makes me more knowledgeable, you know? <laughs> yeah, Brandon, let me know how you like those sets once they come in. Ha! Kyle, that's not happening. <laughs> it was the 26th of March? Oh, damn. Marine tech? Uh, I don't know if I'll do marine tech. That would be pretty cool though. That's awesome to hear that it stood up to uh, using a cheater bar with it. <laughs> uh, my middle name is actually uh, Dennis, named after my grandpa and my grandpa's grandpa and everything like that. And my last name's Clyder, and it's German for dress or dresses. Um, so basically, my name Anthony Dennis Clyder. My dad Bradley Dennis Clyder. My grandpa Dennis Dennis Clyder. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, basically, Dennis has been our middle name for a really long time. And when we came up with Elijah as our baby's name, uh, Elijah Dennis Clyder just didn't sound right. But to show my dad how much he means to me, I named him after my father. Uh, because I can't tell you how much my father means to me, especially uh, after, you know, he kicked my ass and told me that, you know, me and him were going to be working on this car together when I was a kid. And uh, I can't thank him enough. So it's Elijah Bradley Clyder. It sounds better to me. Uh, it's great to honor my father. Uh, and I really hope he enjoys it. Hold up. Guys, I am having a horrible time with this. <laughs> Smells like lemon. <laughs> Your middle name is Dennis? Well, I got two N's. You got one. <laughs> oh. So, I invited you know, a good amount of people from my class to this baby shower. I'm pretty sure none of them are going to show up, which is okay. But that just means that it's going to be all my wife's coworkers, and I literally know none of them. So hopefully we have a good time and I make some new friends, but we'll see. Uh, I know my buddy that I go to school with, he took his mom out to uh, dinner tonight, so I hope that goes great. Uh, one of my buddies is moving into a brand new house, so I hope he enjoys his new house. I know a lot of people are busy this weekend, so no problem with that. To help you. I can't wait for him to be old enough to be in the garage and actually helping me. Yeah, I cannot wait for him to be old enough to be running around out here, you know, passing me tools and I can, you know, show him stuff, some stuff. I think that's absolutely amazing. I'm extremely excited. I can't wait for you guys to meet him uh, as soon as he is born. And uh, I don't have any chemicals spraying around in the garage because usually I'm cleaning stuff or working on stuff with chemicals. I definitely don't want him out here during that. But... Whenever I have a clean day and I'm just showing you guys some tools, maybe you guys will get to meet Elijah. So. Yeah, you need to get a project car. I got one for you. Come fix my door. It's still got a dent in it. <laughs> yeah, I think he said he did want a GTO. Uh, he can get one, and then I, I'll beat him with my Camaro, so. Just playing. I really wanted an older car, you know, like my grandpa, he has a 67 Chevelle, Malibu, uh, an older Nova, Camaro, uh, you know, a Grand National, you know, anything, even a split bumper Camaro would be absolutely amazing. But those kinds of cars cost a crap ton of money and time to rebuild where this 85 still takes a lot of money and time but when you get a classic car like that that's even more time and way more money <laughs> if you do it right you won't win you're crazy your gto is gonna have like 350 horse get out of here <laughs> you'll win with a better paint job maybe I'll let Mechanic Man answer that one. Uh, I know you can basically take any dent out, whether it's you pull it out or you bondo it. <laughs> but the thing that sucks about my dent is it's right on the crease line of my door on my car. Like this line right here that goes all the way back in my back passenger door. Somebody ding the crap out of it. So. Yeah guys, so when I used to do my live videos and uh, uh, like 
tool talk videos where I have that red little mobile toolbox stand uh, that I put the tools on. I used to set you guys, I have a little tripod with those bendable legs. I used to have my trash can, have the lid open, I would have a box sitting on top of that, and then I would have the tripod on top of that. That was a lot of work to set you guys up, all right? And I just got the brilliant idea the other day. You know, I have a, a dual light garage shop light uh, on a tripod. So I took the, the two lights off the top and now I'm just using the tripod itself and I just took the bendable legs and I wrapped it around the tripod for the lights and that thing works great. Now I can move you around the shop, I can angle you anywhere I want. It's gonna be better for videos of the Camaro. Uh, you guys will really be able to see what's going on. I don't have to set you on top of a trash can or anything anymore. So. Seventy three mini Mayfair with one hundred and sixty thousand miles on the clock. <laughs> you guys are different from us. <laughs> what are you winning, Bob? Uh, well, for this gift giveaway, as I stated earlier, uh, my next video will be a new video uh, of the Home Depot that I actually usually go to. Uh, because that video should get a good amount of views, we should get more people enrolled into this gift giveaway, which is what I really want. So when my next Home Depot video comes out, you just like, comment, and subscribe, and you will get the chance to win the eight-piece Tecton USA-made screwdrivers. Uh, you get three different sizes of the standard length screwdrivers, both Phillips and Flathead. And then you get a set of stubbies as well. I'm not giving you my set. I'll buy you one. Uh, but that is what you're winning. I think the handles on these things are absolutely amazing. These are some beautiful screwdrivers. Uh, I'm extremely excited about them. And I think whether you're a professional or just a do-it-yourselfer, anybody will love them. I really think that. Oh, yeah, and obviously anytime I do a gift giveaway, you'll get the Uggsby uh, pocket flashlight as well as the Snap-on pocket screwdriver. If you guys haven't seen those, check out uh, Hard Knocks Forge. Uh, he just posted a video a few days ago of, he was my previous winner, and uh, he actually posted a video of the gear wrench plier set that I sent him along with the flashlight and the screwdriver. He'll show you how bright the flashlight is. They are great. Uh, and I really think he, anybody that wins it will will enjoy it. Oh, mechanic man, that's real funny. <laughs> See, you did win a snap on Triple Bank, and the mechanic man said he would sell his car in order to pay for it, and he would ship it to me. And then we will actually sell it and you can get a, a normal snap-on toolbox and I'll get one as well. Oh, 16,000 miles, okay. Mechanic man, that's not funny. <laughs> All right, Matthew, have a great night, have a great weekend, and uh, be safe. Yeah, I thought that was really cool that he gave that stuff to his daughter, except for the, uh, the flashlight he kept himself because he said it was awesome, uh, so he wasn't gonna give it to her. <laughs> All right, Brandon, have a great night, uh, and have a great weekend. Bryce Lund, did you uh, hear what I was giving away? If you didn't, I'll, uh, I'll say it again for you.
your dad owns your car, well, you better talk to him because you need to pay for this toolbox. <laughs> okay, uh, Bryce, uh, it is going to be my next video when I go to Home Depot. I'll be doing a, a tour of the Home Depot that I usually go to instead of the one that I went to last time. Uh, and that's when you'll be able to enroll. You will win a snap-on pocket screwdriver, a Uggsby LED pocket flashlight, as well as an eight-piece Tekton USA-made screwdriver set. Uh, and they're absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna go through it all again. Uh, just know that I think anybody that gets these screwdrivers will absolutely love them. And uh, I hope you're around to enroll in that video and take the chances of winning these uh, prizes. Oh. Alrighty guys, but we've been on here a while. Uh, I think my wife and her friend are waiting for me to come inside because we got the baby shower starting here in a little bit. I still gotta shave my, uh, my beard, which I don't wanna do, but she says it's mandatory. Are they as good as the Crapsman Diamond Fisker? <laughs> I really think they're better. I really do. Uh, not only did they spend a crap ton of time on this handle design, uh, so it's extremely comfortable in your hand, uh, but they have the size on the back. Sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, and then it's an oxide finish instead of being anodized, so you don't have to worry about any chipping or anything like that. It's an extremely nice set of screwdrivers, uh, and I think anybody would have be happy with them. Especially being made in the USA, I can't complain about that. Any Mac tools? No, I don't. I don't have any Mac tools. I have Matco, I have Snap-on, I have Gear Wrench, uh, Tekton, and that's my four main, you know, big ones. Silver Eagle, which is, you know, Matco or Husky. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Bob. You have a Matco tool? With, what do you have from Matco? The school that I go to, you know, provides, you know, not only a five drawer and a open top service cart, which is normally around three grand, two or three grand. Uh, they, they provide you with a good amount of stuff, you know, like four sets of, sets of wrenches, uh, two sets being non-ratcheting and two sets being ratcheting. Uh, you get all your oil tools, all your brake uh, changing tools. Uh, you get plenty of sockets. Uh, the only thing they don't provide us as far as sockets are half inch chrome sockets. You get ratchets of all drive sizes. Uh, you get sockets of all drive sizes. Uh, we have half inch impact sockets, but no half inch chrome sockets. And that's basically the only thing that we're not uh, given. We have a small set of screwdrivers, an eight piece set and a, uh, a four-piece plier set from Matco. So obviously, anybody going into the field that's doing more than brake jobs and oil changes, they're gonna have to expand on their tools, so that's what I've been doing. You're gonna need more screwdrivers, more pliers, more, you know, everything. Yeah, I saw you got some Mac from, what, a pawn shop or a garage sale or something like that mechanic man last time I went to a damn pawn shop I finally found some snap-on stuff that I was really interested in and they wouldn't sell it to me because they wanted to sell it with this beat up ass craftsman box uh, for like 300 bucks I was like there's not even $300 worth of snap-on in here uh, you're not gonna sell anything else the box isn't gonna sell the rest of the crap isn't gonna sell you might as well just sell me the individual little pieces that I want but they were being dicks, so. But yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Justin Dow's video last night, check that out. It's always fun joining in on his videos. 
uh, very entertaining even when he's busy you know talking on the phone and everybody else is just chatting away in the in the live feed that is always fun uh, but he had his little uh, lunch thing in the park today which I really hope had a good turnout uh, because he's doing this for an amazing cause he's trying to help technicians or people that want to become technicians uh, he's really trying to help them and I think that is absolutely amazing and I would do everything I can in order to help him uh, I'm gonna try and put some tools together myself and send them his way hopefully it's not too late I know he did this lunch today but I'm hoping we can still send him tools Piecing the other snappy SAE wrench set. <laughs> Shoot, you guys know how much snap on I have. As of right now. Uh, so, yeah, donations are appreciated. <laughs> That's awesome, Bob. Yeah, I got it. I want to send him, even though those hyper tough little ratcheting screwdrivers, they're not the best quality and I don't use them at all. So at least maybe somebody can use them. Granted, that's not going to be for a professional, but somebody that needs them, at least they can use them. But I'm going to throw in like a wrench set and some pliers and stuff like that. I'm going to send him a nice box of tools. So. I mean, they're not going to be like Matco or Snap-on, like people are sending them pry bar sets and stuff like that. I can't do that. Uh, I got a baby on the way. Uh, but I am going to send him what I absolutely can. Oh, damn. 1957? poor too yeah man uh preparing for a baby registering a car and putting new tires on it and rebuilding a car this stuff takes money i'm pretty damn good with money i mean actually i should say i'm really damn good with money uh but when you got things in life that you got to take care of you got to take care of them and uh you just got to enjoy what you can enjoy so that's what i'm doing Yeah, I heard his tools got stolen. Need pliers? I don't know. Uh, I got some Pittsburgh pliers for you. I don't use those no more. <laughs> I don't know if you want those though. <laughs> you have an eight-year-old daughter. They don't get cheaper. Yeah, I. I uh... I was talking to my uncle and he wants to buy my son, you know, one of those electrical cars. Uh, but he wants to turn the little battery into like a bigger system so it goes pretty fast. But we're going to see. Maybe I'll just buy a, uh, a go-kart and I'll put a little uh, fiberglass body of a Camaro over top of it and give it to my son. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 150... Hell no, I'd, I'd sell that. I would sell that doll. He's <laughs> a big inspiration. I say no, wife says yes, she went, yeah, that's usually how it goes. That's what I'm afraid of. That's just like, uh, they want me to get off now. Oh, yeah, it's uh, five o'clock. I got an hour before the party begins. I really need to go upstairs and shave and shower and get ready for this party, guys. So uh, I really hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you all for joining me. It was absolutely great. And uh, I love all your guys' comments. And uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below after this video. Let me know how you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any uh, topic ideas of next time I go live so we can 
you know, have some entertaining uh, topics to talk about. Uh, leave everything down below. And uh, as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Make sure you share with your friends about this channel. If they need any help, I am here for them. So, let me read through these last few comments. Yeah, Mechanic Man, any donations that you get, go ahead and send them my way. That is absolutely fine. <laughs> Later, Bob. Thank you for joining. Kyle, thank you. Uh, Mechanic Man, take care. I'll talk to you soon. We need to do that collabo video again. Uh, David, we'll talk to you later. Uh, John, everybody else that joined me, thank you guys so much. It means a lot, and I can't wait to talk to you guys again. And I hope you guys stay tuned for that Home Depot uh, tour and everything so you can enroll in the gift giveaway. And make sure you guys always check out the description below. Uh, of all my videos now that will include all the tools that I suggest and tools that I include in that specific video. So make sure you guys check that out if you're looking for any good tools. All right, guys, take care and have a great weekend.